We well, you know every day this week we are highlighting the beautiful city of Shamrock in the run up to this weekend to St. Patrick's celebration as part of our Our Town Shamrock series. It's located, you know, right on I-40 and right off Highway 83 is the city's water tower. ABC 7's Drew Powell visited last week during the snowstorm. He reports how the water tower is more than just a reserve source of water. We tell people it is a Kodak opportunity. That's Mayor Buck Weatherby talking about the tallest historical water tower in the state. Built at a cost of just over $6,000 in 1915, the city some 100 years later is cashing in on the investment. We get tourists that come in, they will come in, they'll purchase fuel, they'll stop at our restaurants, they'll eat at the restaurants. Um, we're not like a, a destination like a Fredericksburg, but that's what our goal is, is to become a destination. With the help of local residents, the Shamrock Water Tower was recently named a Texas recorded historical landmark, which is the highest honor afforded to a structure in the state. You know, we're proud of our, our water tower because of its status with the state, that it's a registered historical landmark. We use it as reserve. We keep it about half full uh, if we're going to maintain our water system here in town and have to shut it down for an hour or so why we use the water out of the water tower still volunteer efforts on a number of projects have helped restore the tower to enhance its look most of it is with the landscaping mowing and taking care of the flowers and uh, pulling weeds and just making sure the landscape looks good they go out uh, they they do the maintenance on it uh, if the city has to go and do some things then of course we do but uh, I would say 98% is maintained by citizens. The all steel structure can be seen for miles away and is estimated to be between 172 and 176 feet tall. And it probably